My name is Marcus Chu. I'm age 16. Uh, a 3D printer is uh, a bit expensive, so it was like uh, I wanted it as a hobby because in my school we have a class that we uh, that where we design. Then part of the design process is to 3D print something, and that really got my attention in the whole class because the idea of creating anything that you want through software or modeling is very cool. Basically, when the pandemic started, it just my dad just went up to me and asked, "Hey, there's this uh, Facebook post that's asking for uh, filament donations." I decided to just print my own so that it's uh, faster and easier. So me and my dad spent a few days working on a design until finally we got it down to, I think it was an hour to print each, to print each one. When I was designing it, I got, uh, I got Illustrator to help me design the outline of the shield. And then after that, I used 3D modeling software to make it into 3D. And then using that, I converted it into a file that my 3D printer could read and then from there, I just configured the settings of my printer so that the shield would be optimally printed. Since you have the file already, you can just keep printing it over and over again. And that's what made the process very easy. I printed around 252. Philippine General Hospital was one of them, St. Luke's, and Medical City, I think. So far, since the demand for the mask has uh, gone down a bit, I haven't really been printing much. But then I have a batch ready to go for when the surge up again. So if ever they need more of the PPE, I think I'm the uh, print more. I guess it's just a moral standpoint of if you can help, then why don't you help? You know, it's like if you have something that could benefit everybody else, even if it's not for yourself. Um, might as well do it because it's the right thing to do.